yeah, somehow how I stopped the recording for some reason. I will not send all my data to Google. I won't allow scanning. Okay, your news is okay. The phone feels really, really light. It's super light, considering the fact that there's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in here. This is your European special search provider selection screen. That's because we have antitrust um, stuff in Europe. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm gonna get set up the phone fully. I mean, it shouldn't take that long. And I hate Google Assistant. Skip. No things. And we should be done any second now. Skip. Skip. And we'll set up the fingerprint. Gonna enter some pattern. Remember your password. Got it. Drawing an unlock pattern. Yep. Oh, the fingerprint reader is actually on the side, so it's not on this under the screen, as I told you falsely. I'm just gonna quickly get this set up. So they are actually putting the fingerprint reader into that super small, pretty much flush with the device itself. Um, power button right there adding more info to the fingerprint and adding success successfully experience program no 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 personalized ads turn off oh yeah I like my app drawers on devices and we're done setup complete loading apps Yes, there's actually planes flying in Berlin, but it's only small ones. Loading apps. Come on. So we've already lost 3% of the battery charge doing all this. Probably because of the high brightness on the screen right now. It's taking a little long for it to get ready. I actually bought this just to find out if I would be able to deal with MIUI nowadays because MIUI is not my favorite UI. Just too much customization. It's taking ages to get set up. Alrighty, I think we're pretty much done. And there you go. There's your Android home screen using that MIUI 12 I was talking about. obviously still a bit laggy right now because of getting all the stuff set up right now there's your official xiaomi own device model number it's called k9a actually yada 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 okay so i think we're pretty much done let's see how well that screen works i mean it's super bright it's easy to read right at least right now and uh, yeah, auto brightness. I'll see if I can find where that 90 hertz setup is. Mm -hmm. Screen recorder, floating windows. Not right there, obviously. Okay. And uh, yeah, seems a bit not the fastest device. There's a bunch of pre-installed crap on here like Block Puzzle and Amazon Shopping, Agoda, Dust Settle, all kinds of eBay and Lords Mobile, LinkedIn, Opera is on this device pre-installed. It's actually turning down screen brightness right now for some reason, which I don't really. Now it's coming back. Tile Fun, WPS Office, TikTok, and all kinds of crap that you wouldn't want on here. Uh, Xiaomi said they would be allowing me to deinstall system apps. I'm just gonna try that. Yep, it does. Me store uninstall same what else is there mm -hmm. calculator yeah I mean yeah so far seems a pretty 
decent display for a device that is this cheap. It's launching at 279, I believe, with the 64 gig version. This is the 128 gigabyte version. Here we have the device info, 128. Yeah, he got that right. Device name, Mi 11 Lite, as I said. All specs are right here. Come on, turn up the brightness again. It's super aggressive at turning down the brightness. 6 gigabytes of RAM, 2.3 gigahertz. Yeah, not that much info in here. All specs is what they call it. Let's go into the camera for one second. Let's see if we... Yes, allow location info. Yes, while using the app. Uh, oh, come on, there's a ton of stuff in here. First shoot, selection, and... Now the screen is super dimmy. Yeah, well, it's really aggressive as turning down the screen brightness. I've got to change this to automatic and turn that off. Auto brightness off. Thank you. Now oh, there we go. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick and dirty picture. And now let's have a look at it. This is taken through my haze, my, my anti-fly net. But so far it seems pretty decent for such a cheap device. Or rather cheap device, it's not the cheapest. Yeah, let's go into camera settings for a second. So up here you select the screen resolution or the HD camera resolution. Shutter settings, watermark and stuff. Mm -hmm. Camera settings. There's not much of pro mode in here, I believe. But I gotta be honest, I haven't been using any... Oh, there's a pro mode. I haven't been using any uh, Xiaomi devices for ages now, so I don't really have any clue about the UI. So yeah, that's just been a very quick look at the Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite just came in from Italy today as you can see it attracts a ton of fingerprints it's got the Mi 11 camera style and yeah so far looks pretty neat seems like a fine device for what it is the Snapdragon 732 is already a bit older and if you don't like that just get the 5G model which should have the 780G which should be coming out just today a bunch of hours to go and yeah check that out all right, have a good one. This has been Voland from winfuture.de. Follow me on Twitter, like this channel, all that stuff, although this video wasn't the best. And yeah, taking a quick look at the Mi 11 Lite. Thanks, see ya.